So in this video, we are going to go over isolating and defining variables. And that means that we want to find the value or simplify the, the expression in order to find the value of our variables. All right, so the two main methods we are going to learn is simplification and manipulation. And these two methods are the main methods into solving and isolating and defining variables in our expressions. All right, so the first method we are going to learn is in the simplification umbrella, and that is going to be combining like terms. Now, when we combine like terms, we are going to combine the terms with the same degree and the same, in the same type of term. This means that here we have 3x and here we have 2x, and these two terms have the same variable x with the same degree. We can only combine like terms using the same degree, that have the same degree. All right, so that means that we can combine the 3x and negative 2x. And so when we add these two terms together, we are left with 1 positive x. And now the next terms that we can combine are our constants. We have 5 and 2. And because they are in the same degree and they don't have any variables, therefore constants, we can add them together. So 5 plus 2 gives us 7. So x plus 7 is going to be the simplified version of our expression and we use the combining like terms method. And now we will move on to our next method. All right, our next method of the simplification methods are resolving parentheses. Now when we resolve parentheses, we take the coefficients that are outside of the parentheses and we distribute them into the parentheses. And here on the right hand side is our answer or the resolved parentheses answer. All right, so if we distribute this 3 into our parentheses, we have 3 times x, which gives us 3x, and 3 times negative 1, which gives us negative 3. So 3x minus 3 is the resolved parentheses version, or the simplified version of this expression. And this was the last method of the simplification methods, and now we will move on to the manipulation methods. All right, so... Our manipulation method, one of them, are, is the adding or subtracting of the same value to both sides of the expression. When you have an equal sign here, that means that you can move certain constants or variables from one side of the equal sign to the other using the addition or subtracting methods. And this will allow you to find the the simplified version of a certain variable. So if we want to find and define the value of x, we have this 7 that's in the way and therefore we don't know its true value or its simplified value. And so we want to get rid of the 7 by subtracting it on both sides. And what we have left on the left-hand side is this, this x because the positive 7 and the negative 7 cancel out. And on the right-hand side, we have 3 minus 7, which gives us negative 4. So x equals negative 4, and this is the simplified version or the simplified value of x and we used the adding or subtracting the same value from both sides of the expression um, and this was the first manipulation we learned and now we are going to move on to our next manipulation um, method all right so in this manipulation method we are going to divide every term by the same non-zero value that means that in front of this x, we have a multiplied negative 2 combined to it, which disrupts our ability to find the x's true value. So the first thing we want to do when we, um, when we isolate this x is we want to first get rid of these constants, just like we did in the previous manipulation. So in order to get rid of this constant, we are going to subtract 4 on both sides, and we are left with negative 2x equals because this positive 4 and negative 4 cancel out, and we have 18 minus 4, which gives us 14. Now, we want to get rid of this negative 2 to find the simplified version of x, and that means that we are going to divide negative 2 on both sides, and now this negative 2 and negative 2 cancel out to be 1, and that means that we have x equals 14 divided by negative 2, which gives us negative 7 because a positive divided by a negative gives us a negative. So the final value of x is negative 7, and we use the dividing every term, right? We divided every term, which is in this case just the 14, by the same non-zero value. And in, in another case, you could have also, if we 
started over from the beginning. You could have also divided from the beginning this negative 2 by all the terms in the expression, which is the same non-zero value right over here. And then once you simplified it, you could have solved and isolated the x that way too. Each, each way is correct and you can decide which one is easiest for you. And that was the dividing every term by the same non-zero value method of the manipulation methods. All right, our next manipulation method is to clear out any fractions by multiplying every term by the denominator. So let's rewrite this expression so it is easier for us to see. We have x divided by 2 plus x divided by 3 all equals 5. Now if we want to get rid of these fractions so it's easier for us to solve this problem, we can multiply everything, every term, by the denominator. And the denominator in this case, we want to find the, grade, the least common denominator and in this case it's going to be 6 because 2 times 3 will give us 6 and that is the least common denominator. So we can multiply this entire expression by 6 and once we do so it will get rid of our denominators. So in our first term x divided by 2 if we simplify this 6 and 2 we get 3 on the numerator so we have 3x as our first term plus 6 times x divided by 3 3, this simplifies to 2x in the numerator, and our 5 times 6 gives us 30. So now we got rid of all of our fractions, and now we have a simple, simple um, combining like terms and dividing by the constant. And if we do so, we have 3x plus 2x, and if we combine them, we get 5x equals 30. So we just combined our like terms, and now we are going to divide by this 5 over here to get rid of it, to get rid of it to the other side in order to find the simplified version of x. So if we divide by 5 on both sides, we get x to equal 30 divided by 5, which is 6. So 6 is the final value of x, and we did so by first clearing out any of the fractions by multiplying every term by the denominator. And now we're going to move on to another manipulation method. All right, so in this manipulation method, we want to apply a function to both sides. And in this case, we have x in square, the square root of x equals 2. Now, in order to find the value of x, we need to apply a function in order to get rid of the square root. And in this case, the function we're going to apply is squaring both sides. Now once we square both sides, the square root and the squared cancel out and we are only left with x. And on the right hand side we are left with 2 raised to the power of 2, which is 2 times 2. And if we multiply 2 times 2 we get 4. So the value of x is going to be 4 and we did so by applying the square function on both sides in order to find the value of x. So that was the final um, manipulation method and now we are going to solve a problem using manipulation and simplification methods. Alright so in this problem we are going to use simplification and manipulation methods in order to find the value of the unknown variable which is x in our problem. Alright so let's rewrite our expression here as x minus 16 divided by 6 which is the same thing as 1 6 times this expression plus 5 equals 3. Now the first thing we are going to do is manipulate this, this expression by getting rid of the fraction. And we're going to get rid of the fraction by multiplying every term by the denominator. Now if we multiply the first term by the denominator, the 6's cancel out, and we are only left with the numerator of x minus 16. Now if we multiply our second term, this 5, by 6, we get 30. And if we multiply this 3 by 6, we get 18. Now we are going to combine our like terms to find the value of x. So the first thing we are going to do is combine the like, uh, the like terms of the constants. So we have negative 16 plus 30, and that's going to give us 14. And we have this x in the beginning, so we have x plus 14 equals 18. Now in order to find the, the value of x, we want to get rid of this constant over here to isolate it. And that means that we're going to subtract 14 on both sides. 
and then we are left with x equals 18 minus 14 which gives us 4. So the final value of x is going to be 4 and we solve this problem using simplification and manipulation methods.